Welcome to this latest episode of Tips on a Tuesday. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the seven top tips that you need to know in order to start, scale, and grow your property business. <music> Liam Ryan and I'm one of the co-founders of Assets for Life and I absolutely love business, property, I love wealth creation, I love helping people just like you become financially independent through business and property. Now look, you might be watching this video and you might be a complete beginner or maybe you've just done one or two single lets and you're not really quite sure on how to start, how to scale, how to raise money, can you even become a property developer? Well I'm here to tell you that you can definitely become a property developer and you can become completely completely financially free in the next 12 months and in this video I'm going to share with you the seven the seven top tips on how you can do property even if you're a complete beginner so stay tuned let's get started top tip number one you can start building a property business part-time so you might have this big desire at the moment that you want to quit the job sack the boss sack off the business and look that's all possible but I just want you to hold your horses in the beginning I don't want you doing anything crazy right now and leaving yourself in a position where you're vulnerable and you've got no income so my advice is start building a property business alongside your existing job or your existing business and the key here is to start building and replacing your income one property deal at a time one investor at a time so again just start part-time and as long as you can give me five to seven hours a week I can definitely help you in your property journey so you can become financially free within the next 12 months so start part-time Start doing it in your spare time, a few hours a week, and then you can build some momentum as you get your first, second, or third property deal over the line. Top tip number two is get really focused on what I call your 80-20. Now, what does the 80-20 mean? What I mean is 80% of your spare time that you invest into your property business, you will focus on your primary strategy. 20% will be spent on your secondary strategy. So let me just give you an example. You might say to me, Liam, I can give you 10 hours a week. And I'm gonna say, wow, that's brilliant. So eight hours is spent on your primary, two hours is spent on your secondary, and this is how you start to build multiple streams of property income. Now you might then think, well what strategy do I do? Because I'm telling you now, there's so many ways in property which you can make money. You've got single lets, you've got lease options, you've got the rent to rent strategy, you've got HMO, serviced accommodations, assisted sales, commercial conversions, land developments, the list just goes on and on and on and uh, you can't do them all at once. Like trust me, I tried in the beginning, you can't do them all at once. So what I say and what I teach is you focus on two strategies. One could be a high cash flowing income replacing strategy, something like rent to rent, HMOs or serviced accommodation, uh, very quick to get started. You can really scale a rent to rent business, uh, very little, sometimes no money down needed. Uh, and if there's any money down needed, you can just use an investor funds. So focus on a high cash flowing income replacing strategy as your primary strategy and then have something in the background working as your 20% which might be flips or a commercial conversion or a land development deal. So get clear on your 80-20, just focus on two strategies and what happens over a period of time is your primary strategy will then get systemized with processes and procedures and you'll probably bring in a team member. You can then move that over your 20% becomes your new 80% and guess what? You can then bring in a new 20%. And what happens over a two, three, four year period, 
all of a sudden you've got multiple streams of property income, you've got multiple businesses, you have different people in your team managing those properties and managing those parts of the business for you, which then ultimately gives you more time to focus on more key result areas and high income generating tasks. Top tip number three, ladies and gentlemen, and this is really important, you've got to have a plan and you've got to set yourself goals and those goals need to be realistic. So your plan might be, hey Liam, I want to get into property, I'm completely brand new, where do I start? Well, the most important thing is to, of course, get yourself educated and you can actually come along to one of my events. You can come and hang out with me completely free of charge and I'll give you my entire system and we can connect. I am looking for new business partners. I'm looking for new JV partners. So if you want to come and hang out with me, which I'm sure you do because it's absolutely free of charge, somewhere in the description there'll be a link. Click the link, grab your complimentary sponsor ticket right now and come and spend the day with me. I'll help you have a plan. So the first thing is to get yourself educated. Then you've got to set yourself some goals. Now maybe you're in a position at the moment where you're exchanging time for money. Perhaps you've got a business, but you're working more hours than you've ever worked. You're earning less money than you've ever earned. Maybe you're in a job that you hate. Maybe you want to sack the boss. So you've got to understand that to start with, you're probably going to do this part time. You're probably going to only give your property business five, seven or 10 hours a week. So set yourself a realistic goal. Say to yourself, well, look, you know what? I'll do three property deals in my first year. I'll make sure they're high cash flowing assets. And as a result of that, I'll be making on average a thousand pounds per property per month. That could give you at the end of the year, the end of the first year, £36,000 net profit. Now, I don't know about you, but that might actually replace, and some of you, that might even double your current income. Many of my graduates do a lot more than that. Many of them are up at 60, 70, 80, 90,000 pounds by the end of the first year. But I want you to set your goals realistically. So something like three properties in the first 12 months and I want to go and raise 100 or 200,000 pounds in joint venture finance. Start small, build momentum, and then you can really start to scale. So here we are, top tip number four for property investors wanting to build a property portfolio. This tip is really important and this is all about being seen and being heard. Tell the world who you are. Don't be afraid to tell your friends, your family members, your brothers, your sisters, your mums, your dads, your boyfriends, your girlfriends. Everyone you meet in the world, tell them you are now a professional property investor. Look, here's the thing. Some people are going to try and hold you back. Some people are going to be negative. You might even get one or two haters out there. But don't let other people hold you back. This is your time. This is your moment. And by becoming a professional property investor, certainly with my help, you're going to add massive value to your life. You're going to really start building a legacy for your future. And you're also going to really start to help your local communities. So get rid of the haters. Get rid of those negative people. And Ultimately, you just tell the people out there who you are, what you do, build your brand with conviction, with confidence, with passion and power, you can go and do it. What you can do right now is join the Assets for Life Property Community Facebook group. So go on to Facebook group, uh, go on to Facebook right now and search Assets for Life Property Community ask to join the group. There's literally thousands and thousands of members in that group, people just like you, people part of the Assets for Life community that are complete beginners or they're existing property investors and they want to go to the next level. Go on the group and go and introduce yourself and say, hey, my name's John. Hey, my name's Sally. I'm currently in Birmingham. I'm new to this group. This is who I am. This is what I'm thinking of doing. Is there anyone around that wants to hook up for a coffee? Like you can really start connecting with some amazing people in my property group. So do it right now. Go on Facebook, search Assets for Life Property Community, ask to join the group, answer the few questions and become part of us. Tip number five, you need to invest local to where you are. 
And I see a lot of people, they're living, let's just say, in Kent, and then you speak to them and they've got a property in Manchester, a property in Liverpool, they've done some stuff in Glasgow, they've got some stuff local to them, and they've got what we call scattergun approach. They're investing in different areas all across the UK. That's really hard to manage. My advice is pick an area no more than 45 minutes from where you live. Like if you really want to, you can go a bit further and say 60 minutes. And you also wanna pick an area and make it localized. So you wanna try and build a property portfolio in that area where the houses are relatively close to one another. So doing your research is really important. We actually cover all of this picking your gold mine area, what strategy to use, how to go and find these deals at my event called the Property Investment Summit. And of course, if you want to join me at the event, just click the link somewhere in the description, come and join me. But knowing your area is really important and don't be traveling any more than 45 minutes from where you live. Now, there are some caveats to that. We do have people that live in the south and invest in the north, and that's okay, but there's some ups and there's some downs, but my preferred choice is no more than 45 minutes from where you live. Top tip number six, and I really, really enjoy talking about this tip because it has changed everything for me. So top tip number six is get yourself networking. You have got to hang around with other successful entrepreneurs, business owners, and property developers. Where can you go networking? Well, there will be property and business networking events in your area that are run on a weekly or monthly basis. So how do you find these? You know what, get on Google. Go on Google and search Property Networking Events Essex, Property Networking Events Birmingham, Property Networking Events Manchester, and there will be a whole list of options that come up for you. Now, I remember going to my first ever networking event at Pontons Park in Chelmsford, and I've got to be completely honest, I was absolutely crapping my pants. I sat outside in the car for 15 minutes almost talking myself out of it. You can't talk yourself out of this stuff, you've just gotta go and commit and apply. And when you go to these networking events, you will find people are really friendly, they're very open to help, and they are in the same position as you. And the connections that you make when you go networking will really, really help grow your business. So go and do that right now, get onto Google, and get yourself to a local property or networking event as quickly as you can, give it a try, your life might just change for the better. A final tip for complete beginners, it's really, really important that you keep learning, you keep getting yourself educated. The more you learn, the more you earn. It's very easy to become uh, stale. It's very easy to start going backwards. So how can you learn? How can you absorb more information? Get yourself signed up to podcasts. I've actually got a podcast called Liam Ryan, The Dealmaker. Go and search for it now. Subscribe to my podcast. There's many great podcasts out there by some amazing entrepreneurs and property investors and developers. Also, what I want you to do is make sure that you're absorbing motivational content on a daily basis. You can read something, you can watch something, you can listen to something. Get yourself signed up to Audible. Audible is a great platform where you can download books and you can listen to books on the go. Like I'm not a great reader, I am dyslexic, I don't find it particularly easy to read and write all the time. Uh, luckily I know how to make a lot of money and luckily uh, I'm a property investor, but look, go and download Audible and start reading and listening to lots and lots of books. The average millionaire will listen or read one book per week. So where are you at? At the moment. The average person in the UK currently reads or listens to 1.1 books a year. So again, the more you learn, the more you earn. And of course, get yourself educated. Come and join me at one of my up and coming events. Uh, come and hang out with me. I'll teach you my complete system and I'll really give you the tools that you need to know to get up and running. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. The seven top tips 
in order to start, scale and grow your property business. It's been an absolute pleasure to help you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, and again, look, comment below, give me a question, like and share the video, and please make sure you stay tuned for more videos. And I hope to see you at one of my events very soon.